Hey you guys, welcome again to Geeks 101 and I'm John and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the Nexus S, the GSM version, the bootloader and how to install a custom recovery and gain super user or root uh, privileges uh, to this phone and this way you'll be able to um, install any custom ROM you want to install and actually with the root privileges you will be able to do a million other things like overclocking your phone or using BLN, BLD and other things like that that if you do this you'll learn what all those things are so uh, let's go on with it because it's gonna be a pretty long and difficult procedure I'm gonna be showing you through all the steps so get ready and go so the first thing you guys need to do is download the file from the description and unwrap it directly in your C drive so uh, everything you will need for the ADB interface unlocking the bootloader USB drivers and some other stuff will be there in that file that you've downloaded so you don't have to download the whole SDK package from uh, Google so I'm gonna show you how to do that this link is gonna be at the description so don't worry about it um, just click on the download button over here free download and press on the save file option I've already downloaded this file so in order to keep this video a bit shorter <laughs> I'll skip this part when this is downloaded just close everything and you will have this file Nexus S ADB .rar. so you need to right click on it and press on the extract files and just go to your C drive just click on this one and press OK and if you just open up a Windows Explorer and go to your computer and open up the C drive you should see now this file and there are some other files inside it and some subfolders so uh, after that you will need to back up everything as unlocking the bootloader will factory reset your phone so anything you need just take a backup first anything photos, uh, contacts, SMS messages, everything and when your backup is done, I've already done this so I don't need to do this again you will need to power off your phone and go into fast boot mode and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this right now so in order to go into fast boot mode the first thing you need to do is press and hold the power button and power off then OK wait for it to power off OK now that it's powered off what you need to do is first of all press and hold the volume up button and the power button until you see the bootloader screen so our lock state is locked but before we indulge in the bootloader and custom recovery awesomeness we need to make sure that our computer has recognized our device correctly so uh, first of all open up your start menu go to your computer and right click on it and then click on the manage button so go to the device manager option and I will just connect my phone so as we are now in uh, fast boot mode you will see here that when I connect my USB cable I have an Android phone over here so if I click on this small arrow on the left I have an Android ADB interface this is what you should see if you don't see this then do the following steps right click on whatever 
you see written underneath the Android phone option and click on the updra update driver software after you do this just click the browse my computer for driver software then click this let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer and if you still don't see this one Android ADB interface just click on the have disk now click on the browse button and just click on the computer go to your C drive and you will see the file that we have downloaded and extracted here on our C drive so Nexus SADB you will see another folder USB underscore driver open up this one and you need to select the file that has the INF extension Android underscore win USB dot INF click on the open button when you do that just say yes to everything I'm not gonna go through it again because uh, I have mine installed and in the end you should see this Android ADB interface if you don't just do all the steps from the beginning and you will finally you know have a success anyway so let's close this one we need to be in recovery mode or fast boot mode you should open up a command prompt so let's just click on our start menu and type in here cmd and press enter you will see this DOS window I'm gonna go full screen just to make things easier and what you need to do now is first of all just type in CD and two dots as many times as you need so you can only see your C drive so we got our command prompt open, we're directly in our C drive and this way I told you to copy the folder in our C drive so we don't have to type like a very long path. So what you need to do to navigate to our folder is just type in cd nexus s adb and press enter and you can see now that we're over here in our uh, folder nexus s adb. And you just need to type the following command fastboot oem unlock and once you press enter I will show you what happens okay so as you can see here it says lock state locked so I'm gonna press enter and you will see these options here it says unlock bootloader yes or no so you can navigate with your volume up and down buttons I'm gonna press volume up to go to the yes and then I'm gonna press the power button okay so it says lock state unlocked okay and next what you wanna do is uh, after you have unlocked your bootloader you can uh, flash your new recovery so uh, the command to do that is the following fastboot flash recovery and then you just type in the name of the recovery file you need to install so let's type in recovery 5020.img and press enter and I'll show you again what happens pressing enter now and you saw down there that there was a message so what we need to do now to gain the super user permissions is the following we are now in our bootloader and we have installed our custom recovery so we need to go to our recovery, our new recovery and in order to do that, to navigate again, you use the volume up and down buttons I'm gonna press volume down until I target recovery 
and in order to select it I'm gonna press the power button so just wait for it to boot into recovery and we should be able to see the uh, clock on board recovery options okay so uh, you can see here the following options uh, but the one we need now is mountain storage so again with the volume down I'm going further down and I'm selecting it with the power button and I'm gonna go to the last option that says mount USB storage and I'm gonna select that one so now we're ready to uh, copy that file in our uh, removable disk as the computer sees our SD card so uh, let's go back to our computer screen we got our uh, Nexus SADB folder over here I'm gonna just snap it on the left and I'm gonna open up a new Windows Explorer window I'm gonna snap it on the right and I'm gonna select the removable disk which is our SD card and as you can see these are the contents of my SD card so what we need to do is we need to copy the superuser.zip to our removable disk so we just click paste here and we're done so we eject removable disk and we're gonna go back to our phone now so now what you're gonna do is uh, hit the unmount or go back it's the same thing and we wanna go to the last option go back and then we need to select the install zip from SD card option so I'm gonna navigate over there again with the volume up and down buttons and select with the power button and then the first option says choose zip from SD card so that's the one we need we select with the uh, power button and again we navigate to the superuser.zip and you just click on the uh, power button and it will install it for you I'm not gonna do it again because I already have it installed so after that just go back select the first option that says reboot now wait for your phone to reboot so our phone has rebooted and let's go to our app door and we should be able to see the super user application down there so if I just tap on it then select the settings button preferences in order to check out if it works just tap on the SU binary and in order to see if this works just uh, press the update anyway and oh yep it works so now you're practically ready to install anything you want or have a go with a lot of other options so not only custom ROMs but you can also have uh, set CPU let's say uh, installed on your phone and you can mess uh, with your uh, CPU overclocking your clocks and uh, your voltages as I have done so I can just go over here and select a different um, governor and overclock my CPU so now it runs at 800 I can set it normally it's on a thousand megahertz but I can set it to uh, 1.46 gigahertz you have a million things to do after uh, you uh, install super user or after you unlock your bootloader but uh, if you feel that uh, your phone is just fine the way you're using it then there is no point in all this at all if you're okay with your phone then you don't need to do this and also I have to say that we don't hold any responsibility if you break your phone we're just here to show you how stuff works so if you follow our steps this might work but there's always a possibility this will not work and you might break your phone even if you do everything right
it's a very slight possibility but it is there so we do feel the need to tell you this so I hope we've helped this works for ice cream sandwich and gingerbread cheers bye bye